Kintola, who's a wheelchair user, is a full-time carer for her 74-year-old mother, Elsie, who also uses a wheelchair. Elsie has end-stage kidney failure and needs dialysis three times a day, which is administered by Carlin. Elsie also suffers from Parkinson's and osteoporosis. They get three hours home help and also three hours respite care from the Carers Association a week, but they're now worried their home help hours may be cut. Well, the maximum support we get every week is six hours. I mean, that is the difference between my being able to look after mum on my own and not. You know, we don't have family support. It's only mum and I. I can go out and do some shopping. I can collect prescriptions. I can go to the dentist. I can go to the doctor. I'm not going out to live the high life on those six hours a week. I'm very worried how we're going to cope at all. I mean, it's hard enough now with them. But without them, it would be very, very hard altogether. Groups representing the elderly have criticised plans to reduce home help hours by 4.5% this year. That will mean that we have 2 million hours less than we had in 2008. Over 5,000 fewer people will receive home help in 2012 than received it in 2008. We want an urgent meeting with Minister James Riley. Cutting home help hours does not make sense on a human level or on an economic level. In a statement this evening, the Department of Health said it wanted to concentrate on personalised care for the elderly. It pointed out that help towards, say, cleaning the home may not be as urgent as interventions that improve the quality of the individual's life. It said that home care packages, which may include nursing assistance, will not be cut this year, but home help hours will be cut. Martina Fitzgerald, 14 News.